in the vineyard, we've obviously got the vines here growing, but what else do you grow in the vineyard? Well, we grow with barley, um, daikon, uh -huh. mustard and uh, legumes. The idea of uh, each species is uh, it's a different purpose. For example, this uh, daikon can break down the soil in the first centimeters but also you can add a lot of carbohydrates and uh, at the end the vine, the, this plant will die so all these elements will go into the soil mm -hmm. so the insects, the worms can eat it and turn it into compost so you can build your own fertility in a long process so this uh, never stops so we see it every single year we see these roads with this mixture of different plants uh why do you have these flowers in the vineyards? Well, these flowers are mustard plants okay. and we use uh, them for three big reasons. The first one, as you see, the root system is uh, almost um, a carrot, so it can drill a hole into the soil. Mm -hmm. So you can increase the porosity and, uh, and the exploration, the root, root exploration. The second reason is um, it's very benefic beneficial for cleaning the soil because the plant has some uh, allelopathy you know so, so, uh, some people uh, believe that creates something that is going into the soil to avoid uh, nematodes okay. infection so you can clean the soil also and the third reason as you see here you can have these beautiful yellow flowers to attract good insects but also to attract bad insects. To distract the bad insects. Yeah, like uh, trips. Uh -huh. Trips are very tiny insects that can go to, to the vines and uh, they, they can use the vine as a, as a food source. So they can destroy flowers and the berries in the first stage of the berries. Mm -hmm. So then if you have this kind of flowers, they can come here and not into the vine. So it's, a, it's a beautiful plant. And as you see, we use that. We use it uh, in the in the cover crop technique with daikon, with barley, with oak, with the legumes, with everything. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So instead of using any kind of chemicals or different additives, you can just do it all with flowers. <laughs> green, yeah, green manure and flowers and roots. The roots are really really important. So Roberto and Julio, so we've just been in the vineyard where we were learning a bit about viticulture and why it's important to have the green cover crop, but also you make special preparations to put yep. in the vineyard. In the practical side, yeah. So what is, what is a simple demonstration of what you might use in biodynamic viticulture yeah. um, to treat the vines? Well, we use uh, a good example of that is uh, use uh, the chamomile flowers, mm -hmm. as you see here. It's a medicinal plant that we use uh, today for infusion. That smells a lot like yeah. well, chamomile, chamomile we tea. We drink chamomile <laughs> tea since uh, always and uh, we use these chamomile flowers collected here in the farm as a um, biodynamic preparation. Means uh, we use it in a compost process. So you mix this with manure, basically? No, it's just the flowers Okay. in a natural container. In this case, we create the chamomile flower sausages. Uh -huh. So we dig it, we dig a hole in the soil. We leave it there for at least six months. Mm -hmm. Then we take it out and we have this. How does that smell? This is the compost. Mm, it smells kind of minty. It's gonna. It's a minty compost a made with the flowers. So then we use this compost, call it biodynamic preparation mm -hmm. of chamomile, in the compost piles to bring uh, more, um, to bring to calm down the process of the fermentation. So works perfectly, and we have a complete and a full, you know, uh, decomposition process into the compost. Super. So like in the same way that humans might drink chamomile tea to kind of relax yeah it's the relax. same the same sort of thing that you do for the vines it's the same at the end biodynamics in many many ways is similar to homeopathics mm -hmm. super yeah. Yeah. okay there's this thing here which is a cow horn and this is probably one of the most polemic things that you have in biodynamics yeah. everyone thinks it's kind of crazy and weird but but why do you use the cow horn 
Well, for a very good and really simple reason, we use females, you know, cow horns, and we fill it with fresh manure. Mm -hmm. From the cow? From the cow. Okay. We leave it there for a year, one, a year, sí, sí, mainly, yeah. a year, decomposing inside of this natural vessel, mm -hmm. that's the reason. So then we can have all the beneficial bacteria that came from the animals, mm -hmm. from the, inside the animals, and then we have those bacteria to put it into the soil as a solution. So we spray a solution of horn manure, this is how we call it, mm -hmm. into the soil with the idea to add more bacteria that can help us to improve the fertility into the soil. So it's like adding good bacteria. Adding good bacteria. It's like a bacteria culture uh -huh. to Super. the soil. It's kind of like when perhaps when we drink those bacterial yogurt drinks. It's the same. And it's the good bacteria that you for put your in your health, stomach. For your uh -huh. stomach. Super. It's the same. One question. Why oh. female horns? Do we have more Be hormones? <laughs> Not really, you know. Or it's, more bacteria? No, it's probably, it's related because they, they are you know, are creating life and probably they have a better system of bacteria. Mm -hmm. But they have, uh, you know, they are more fertile. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Always. <laughs> so this is why we use only female uh, horns. Perfect. Oh, and what's this actually? Here I've got quartz. What do you use the quartz for? Well, that is the silica. It's just quartz rocks, grinded until we get a fine powder. Uh -huh. So then, it's really simple, you know, we spray this powder, this fine, you know, glass powder. We, we spray that to the foliage, to the cannabis in, in, in the vines, to the leaf, with the idea to improve the, um, the heat into the vine. The, so the quartz, it's like a mirror, kind of reflecting the like sun? It's like a mirror, or? if you see there, you know, it shines with the sunlight. Mm. So it's doing the same in the foliage. Okay, so, so it can improve. A, a natural way to kind of make more heat in the vineyard. And we and use for that for Syrah, so. for Syrah for because like later the, depending on the season, Roberto sprayed silica to improve the photosynthesis, mm -hmm. to bring and to improve or to accelerate the harvest. Perfect. Because sometimes it's too cold. Yeah, especially, I mean, especially it's, in this it's cool lovely climate and sunny here, but yeah. like I've got a jacket on because you've got that sea breeze, it's kind of cool. Yeah, it's a cool, <laughs> it's a cool climate spot. So Syrah, some, it's demanding more heat and sometimes, depending on the season, you need to bring it uh, in, a, in a different way. Perfect. Yep. And a Syrah's best friend is yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But Love it. this is how, in a practical way, biodynamics can help you, can, can help you to you know, have more balance and at the end have more quality into mm -hmm. the fruit to produce high quality wines. Perfect. Yep. Delicious. Yep. Thank you.